Hello and welcome back to episode 41 of my Latra Let's Play with the Delane and we're playing my Hunter as always. How are you guys doing? Hopefully you're all feeling well and as you may have noticed this video looks a bit different. I have to firstly apologise. Uh, I have been playing for the longest time with um, a 21 by 9 ratio screen. So as you saw the last videos were kind of letterboxed. That's because of the way the videos work. Uh, how the video was played and I had to squish it down. I've now got to this point of where the video is up. I also had a new monitor. I've got a 27 inch monitor coming soon. Um, but for the moment, I'm just kind of just forcing my monitor to allow me to play them short. Does that sound stupid, that word? No, monitor? Monitor, monitor, monitor. So I expect to see all the videos back in native resolution and any content I do as well for that matter, to be fair. I think uh, it was cool. Having the wider view, but for videos, I started to really just dislike how it really came over. Um, so, thank you for bearing with me for the last few parts. Well, quite a few parts, really, I think. And, uh, yeah, expect to see them going on like this. And there will also be no more face cams in the videos. I just want to keep it kind of to the point. I keep them clean. Um, I feel for Let's Plays, uh, I do I prefer having it like this. Whereas with a stream, I think it's better having a camera on a stream only. Just for me, because you can kind of bond better with the person during that stream. Whereas you're watching a 20 minute episode, it kind of feels weird. Because you wouldn't walk up to someone and after 20 minutes and decide you're going to just stop and then come back the following day for the extra 20 minutes. So yeah, uh, the videos are going to be 20 minutes long. Where am I going? I'm going the wrong way. I'm sure I am. We're doing the Riddle Master Quest, by the way. So, yeah, the videos are going to be 20 minutes long. Ooh, don't want to be touching them just yet. I'm sure I'm overthinking this. But yeah, the videos will be 20 minutes in length, and they'll be every day, seven days a week. I figure if I record the videos and do 20 minutes of gameplay every episode, that's about 10 hours a month. So, yeah, it's, it's going to be so much easier to commit to that. I've got plans how to deal with that. I can't talk about it in my, what's it called? My channel updated May. So if you haven't seen it, make sure to go and have a look. Yeah, I'm totally overthinking this. I'm sure you can get there. Why am I going into the trolls for? This was a bad idea. This is a questing zone. Let's get out of here. Where's my uh, desperate flight? Let me guess. It's messed me up. Oh no, god dang it. You're going to see most of this episode me running around trying to get to the legacy. That uh, riddle maker quest is a nuisance. <laughs> it's basically in a little building, if I remember right. And there's uh, crawlers that are there. Hmm. I kind of really don't want to record all this fluff. I want to try and cut some of it out. Like I have in the past. So bear with me. I'm going to um I'm going to be right back. So as I was saying, I kinda wanna improve the quality of these videos a little bit. I don't really want to have all the running around if I make a mistake in it. So I'm trying to make a bit more effort in how the videos are delivered. And uh that's gonna involve a bit more effort on my part. So yeah, uh it just means I've got to be more up to speed how I do things. So yeah, expect to see that change as well. Hopefully you guys will enjoy. Oh god, why why are game developers I continuously ask this question, why are game developers so obsessed with invisible in invisible walls? I'm jumping high enough to get over that. Let me do it. What's it hurt? It's not gonna <laughs> it's not gonna hurt. They could make oh, I don't know. I'm probably gonna be whining about that for too long. The salt, you know, the salt man. Harbingers of death. So these are the quests. It was actually in the wall for some reason. I'm thinking of a uh, little cenotaph, I guess you call it, where they keep the thing. But no, it's, it's just a hole in the wall. Is there an ATM in here? I could do some money talking about ATMs. Then again, I'm skinned, so I can't really, uh, com can't really come in. So yeah, I I intend to get to get to work on following through my promise to get to level cap with this. At the time of recording this, like, ooh, level four, 
level 38 dice at the time i recorded this episode um update 20 has come out i believe i really need to start reading up on the updates and stuff i kind of just at one point almost decided i wanted to retire from the game i just found that there's so much i wanted to do but it's kind of like you know what why you know i feel like i should you know give it a proper go and you know i really do enjoy this game i really have loved it over the years and i think i always send, tend to rush and make silly decisions and if you follow it religiously up to this point you know i owe it to you guys to do it now don't worry i know that a lot of people might start saying well you don't have to do it for us do it for you part of my enjoyment is so you guys enjoy the content so you know as long as people are watching it and i'm getting you know the comments people commenting and liking or you know just checking it out and that's all they do if i'm seeing that then why wouldn't i you know let's actually go back to glorfindel and just sheet that through the riddle master what can I do for you yes indeed this is a jewel please bring it to elrond it is duty to give it to his daughter and of course i've got the audio bug who are you sweet lad milan will you stay a moment not really going to do much more in the troll shores as you saw earlier in the video where we went down to the drakes and stuff we'll end up going back there for a epic book so we'll do them quests when we get to go down there for now though that's outside the scope of this video i feel like Sometimes you've got to be a bit intelligent with how you do things and efficient. That's how I was, that's always how I've been when it comes to leveling. If I'm honest, it makes things a lot more convenient to do so. So, And I can never figure out why you spend all day like doing other things. Once you start recording, you you get hairs on your nose and itches and stuff. It's like the world's out to hate you. Anyway, anyway. Dark days are coming. To think that the vault has remained sealed for so long it's for so long past its time. Even those counted among the wise can be foolhardy, it seems. But they must thank you for your perseverance, Master of Riddles. You seek the truth in all things. <laughs> Even though it brings you into darkness, your skill and cunning bring you back into the light again. Now, hmm, let's see. We could take the dagger. The dagger's going to be pretty good. But then I'm losing again 11 agility, losing 3 damage because I replace Riddles Purge, yeah? The Master of Riddles is not worth it. So really, I need to take that. Gain 11, lose a bit of attack, gain a bit of agility, yep. Okay. A place of rest. There are no weapons. Um, oh, we were meant to do that, weren't we? It's blue. I'm not going to do it. You just get experience, so it's fine. Decline. I wish you could decline it and, it, and make it not give it you. Actually, we'll keep it on us. And then I can just not do the quest. And once it goes grey, then it's fine. Right. Dark days are coming. It's good to see familiar faces. Oh, okay, okay. Lane to rest the evil Dark dead. days are coming. Wow, a moth just flew at my freaking... Yay, good moth. Uh, Lying to rest the evil dead. After much consideration and pondering of your reports, I am convinced that the servants of the enemy were not in fact drawn by the presence of Nazgul. Based on the powers of girding you encountered in Nantorn, Nantorn I believe the Gaunt Lord to be Fender, the virulent master of pestilence. He must be defeated at all costs. His power is too great, though. I shouldn't be sending you. Can we turn off the music for now? Except, let's see if I can force it to fix. No. No music for this part. I don't really care for like <laughs> buggy music. Um, one thing I'm going to do as well is I, I don't get why. Why they took it into an external browser. Do the new developers just not like programming the store in the game? Um, you can't see the details, but I don't get why they've done that. Well, I get why they've done it. It's probably easy for them to maintain. Like I say, it's easy to maintain the website. But I don't like that. Why would you? It just breaks the immersion for me. Maybe they've just done it as a temporary thing while they update and change their systems or something, possibly. 
because I will be buying some more Mythical Coins at some point. I've got 3,500 Turbine Points. Latro Points. Latro Points. How so can I, can I be of service? So it is, so it's as I fear the Gauntlet has come to the Troll Shores in the wake of the Nazgul. And raises an army against Rivendell. Master Alron speaks truly. This creature must be dealt with. Yada, yada, yada. Don't do it on your own. So me and Glorfie are going to go and take on this Gaunt Lord. Okay, we're going to have to do our best. Uh, I'm in strength stance, right? Yep. Oh, I'm in precision stance. No, no, no. Strength stance. Has that fixed my audio? Don't know. Any skill points? Jane, okay, you boob. One point available. Let's see. What was we working on last time? 25 plus damage. Yeah, we'll just do that. Boost the damage up. Actually, what's that there? Nah, we'll do that for now. Yep. Damage every time will come later. What do you need? The time has come. If this Gaunt Lord's foul powers are truly the cause of evil, he must be dealt with. We can't allow him to muster any more of the dead and bolster his strength. Ready yourself. None shall. Yes, we're not going to let him get away with it. Is he coming? Oh. We must hurry. I've sent eight warriors. Yeah, let's move swiftly. Yeah, let's just spend half an hour talking about it first. Right, that's, that's wonderful. <laughs> I just want to go in there and kill things. Something is not right, but of course it's... It's empty. There's a lot of mist everywhere and Okay, what next dude? Come on, Sherlock, figure it out. Figure it out. There's bodies on the floor. There are bodies on the floor. He's done things with the bodies, of course. And it looks like there he is. Like a Gaunt Lord. Da -da -da. I'd love to read these out, but they go so quickly. I don't. I talk too quick, and if I talk too quick, it messes it up. We've got to go up here. It's a bad one. Oh, that's a good job from here, isn't it, dude? Look at that. Just so powerful. God. Nobody can deal with the strength I possess. Nobody knows. Look, dude. I see you. I see you, baby. Shaking that gas. Well, if you come over here, he's over here, dude. Hey, mate. Nice to see you, but give us a second. My mate over here is trying to fix things up. Oh, is he talking to this dude? Dude, no. Glorfie. Don't be like Lady Sarah O'Carr and drag your feet. Let's get this done, dude. Your taunts do not fool me. But my arrows, they hurt. Oh, I'm just gonna stun me. It's a magic how you can stun a ghost. I don't need healing, just kill them. See? Nice, isn't it? May Govanen. Our foe expects us. This much is clear. Ferndor's vile influence has claimed too many of the vile... Too many of my people have sickened our lands. Let's, let's just get this over with. Okay. 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 And... Oh, okay. The trigger point was up here. Ah, so the mighty Glorfindel finally graces me with his presence. I wondered how many more elves would have to rot away before I drew you forth. Be silent. My people and this land shall not suffer your pestilence any longer. Your reign ends today. Yay! Can we have cake and sack? Nothing shall keep my blight from Middle Earth. Not even you, firstborn. Maybe I'll send him away for a sleepy sleep. Glorfie, how can you do that, dude? I just feared him away and you just couldn't get away, could you? It's alright. 
I've got no heal potions though because I don't I don't do crafting I should do um can't fear him or just or just send a nice little heart seeker in or not I can't even rebuff him oops come on come on god that stun is over the top why do you need a 20 second stun for 15 it's evil nothing I can do let's put a trap on his face nice free cheap and easy dps actually let's do a heart seeker first ah oh, i got a disease man okay i'm gonna have to do this slow how long has that got on it four minutes seriously seriously i have got no way of dealing with that have i that's a horrible disease it's a bit over the top for a freaking instance retreat now see that's just that's just cruel that's just cruel hmm why would you do this lotro why throw me out into the world please don't break games please sort that rubbish out i love I just love being able to have to run for hours on end to make up for a mistake. Um, I've got them to remove wounds though. That was just cruelty to animals, that was. Alright, I said I would take out the fat, but... <laughs> There's not much else I could do with this episode, really. So I may as well just run up and kick his butt before I end this episode. God, it's so warm. Trust me, I, I seem to get motivated to record right at the end of the cold period. Uh, and I got a nine-year frame. And I got an orb. Ooh. That's my nine-year anniversary. My nine years, what's it called? Prize, reward, gift. Nine-year frame, why not? Uh, just an extra deep. I can't wait to get my 10 year one next year. Okay. At least I can mount up there. That's always nice. Glorfy! Please heal yourself, Glorfy, whatever you do. I'm just going to let him tank it like he is. He better not die. I'll be upset. Thank you. I hope he's reviving. Come on, dude. You've only got to heal yourself. Oh, come on, mate. Yeah, there we go. Finish. <laughs> I'm not sticking around for that. Forget that. That was overpowered, dude. Overpowered to hell. How can I be of service? Alas, that Ferrandu escaped. He's a diaphone presents a threat. Let him go. Let, tell Elrond the bad news. Oh, please don't make me have to wait for the next part to get that done. I want to kill him now. Dark days are coming. Lord Glorfindel is correct. His escape means the elves of Rivendell must remain vigilant. There is such a great evil on the loose of, on the world. Our security becomes much greater in port. Nevertheless, thank you for your help. Will you lend me your aid once more? And uh, I think that's pretty much actually a conclusion of uh, the Troll Shorts for now in its form. There are more areas, like I say. You... Of course, I can't show you it right now. Let me just go outside. But there's plenty more areas we could do. Oh, God. All this is to show you things. I love I love things like that I don't think it's a thing you can gripe about with Lotrid. I think a lot of MMOs do the same thing if you're in the building it just puts you out to the back into the map into the game because why not uh, come on so map we still have, we could do quests in Tyberwain, which is a little, little encampment. Where there's a few more quests there, and the Giant Valley. 
Uh, Giant Valley will have a bunch of quests for Volume 1, Book 4, which we'll start doing. So I think for the next bunch of parts, we're going to start doing the Volume Books and uh, get through those. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, and thank you for bearing with me. I know it's been a bit really hectic. But like I say, if you watch my channel update from May, I'll try and link it in the description if I remember. Uh, have a look at that and you'll kind of get more of a detailed insight into how things are with me. So thanks guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care guys. Peace out.